in between Saskatoon and Regina right now. Uh, a few hours late because Alex locked his goddamn keys in the trunk and we had to call his grandfather to come get them for us. And Buddy, whose house we were staying in, didn't even own a goddamn plunger to fucking break into his car. Big shit show so far. Hopefully it gets better towards, I don't know, mid-trip. Headed to Winnipeg tomorrow. Hopefully nothing fucked happens like today. Should be good. That is fucking sick. I feel awful. My knee hurts really bad from driving. Speeding too much. Foot too heavy on the gas. Make it to Winnipeg tomorrow morning. Three hours tonight until we sleep at a Husky. Three hour drive to the Peg City tomorrow. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking wizard just saved the day. Uh, so we're on our way to Winnipeg and uh stopped to eat our pizza from the last night uh, in the parking lot and then decided we wanted some drinks and when we came back the car battery was completely dead. The car battery was so dirty that the car just stopped working in this very moment and then some wizard from the co-op over there came in and saved the day. That was it, we didn't even need to jump. Adrian, where are we? Winnipeg. No, dude, you gotta get it. We swam on that rock over there to fulfill my road trip dream to swim in a random lake just driving down the road <laughs> and it was great. Putting on my pants. <laughs> Could you see my wiener? No. <laughs> you fucking asshole, stop recording. <laughs> I'd do it again, in a heartbeat, man. Been home about a month now and I long for the road. I long for those long drives with my friend Alex. I long for just chilling, driving for hours straight while he sleeps and then he gets behind the wheel for 30 minutes and almost falls asleep and makes us pull over and I drive another six hours. I miss it, man. 
really miss those days, sleeping in the Pontiac on fire. He has a new car now. It's funny how things change. Get out, girl.